It's a pleasure to meet you both. You oh, thanks. I would love to know, going into the second season, what you guys, you know, how you felt playing these characters the second time around after you've kind of had the fan reaction. Uh, did you did you feel any differently playing the roles this time? Um, <clears throat> it's interesting. You know, it is an interesting thing about making television that you know, like for a for a film or something, you sort of make it in private, and that's kind of what our first season was. You mm -hmm. sort of like get to burrow away in a little cave and just do your thing and <laughs> play with your friends, and then. And then it's always interesting to start negotiating with what the outside world thinks and still try to be in that really private, quiet, creative, at least for me, that's what yes. it's like, that like very, you know, soft, creative place. So it's, it's interesting. It's exciting. It's challenging and heartening and all those things. Yeah. I wonder if this is what it feels like to make like a serial movie or something. Like, yeah. Like you make the first one and then it's like, oh, it's, like you know what sequels I, and yeah, stuff? Yeah, sequels. Yeah, right? yeah, I wonder yeah. if that's what it's like. Yeah, you I know? wonder. It's kind of totally. Yeah, because we go back to that cave and yeah. we do settle back into it. Like, yeah. we settle back into it. Like, we're now shooting three and it's yeah. like, okay, like, and now here we go again, you know? So I wonder, like, it's this what it's like to be an X Men. I, I know. <laughs> Hunger Games. Hunger Games. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. In prison. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine? Uh, the real. We have a Hunger Games. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this whole thing. Netflix, was. homegrown. Yes. <laughs> homegrown by Netflix. Yeah. Previously. Yeah. <laughs> Only Avengers. Yeah. <laughs> did, did you guys find together that it felt differently playing it this time around? What was it like? It's weird because we're already into the third season. Of and course. I feel like I need, yeah. you know, it's hard to go back and... Uh, has it evolved then? I mean, now that you are filming three, has the, the relationship that you play on screen evolved? You know, the way you feel portraying the character as well as, you know, obviously the characters evolve, but... Um... Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think po characters are always, you know, they, these these women are always evolving and changing, and I, I think mm -hmm. that's the kind of the interesting thing also about being in prison is that it's such a, this is interesting, it's such an, like a specific heightened time in your life, mm. you know, where you're really having to engage daily with yourself mm. in a different way uh, with very few distractions, so... There's no, I mean, there's nowhere to go except for a tremendous amount of change, right. you know, and kind of growth. Mm. So, good point. You know, it's like it's like a heightened reality. Yeah. Well, I mean, speaking to the dark side of the show, do you guys ever feel? I mean, I know you shoot in real locations and everything. Do you do you ever feel kind of the the dark side of even just the place you're in? Oh, yes. I mean, <laughs> yes. That soundstage is very real. Right. Really real. And it's 100% clean. Like, there is nothing dirty about it, but we will not, I, or I don't, take my shoes off because it yeah. looks so, <laughs> it's so gross. gross. It looks so gross. Yeah. And, like, dingy on you, and the bunks never feel quite at home, and the lighting is really intense. Um, yeah. You feel it. You definitely feel it. And you feel when we step out into the dressing room area, like you're out. Like it almost feels like you got out, huh. you, you know, because you go outside and it'll be like the most beautiful day outside. And then inside it's like we're in this weird, gross place. Mm -hmm. like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, otherwise, I'm just wondering, you know, because the show has veered off now away from, you know, the original book, I mean, kind of had a basis for the first season. Going forward, do you guys have hopes of one thing you'd like to see for your, your characters, something to happen? Mm. I don't know. That's tricky. It's harder for you. Mm. That's tricky. What would you like to see? What would, what would Show us. Tell us about Tell Suzanne. Us, Suzanne. <laughs> what would I love for her to see? I would love for her to find that peace. Whatever it is she's looking for, Like I hope she finds it. Hmm. She's looking for something, it seems, outside of herself. I don't know. But whatever she's in search for, I would love for her to find it. Mm. And it doesn't have to be in a person specifically, but in a piece of herself. You know, whatever it is, just hmm. that piece. But, yeah. But I'm very happy with how they keep opening her up, her, you know, having that balance of 
openness, but yeah, just to find lock into that, that would be my wish for her. Huh. <laughs> well, thank you both very much. I Thank really you. appreciate the time. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me.